Dear friends, Israel is at war. These are difficult times for our people, for Jewish people, and for the people of Israel. It's been a few days since that horrid Saturday Shabbat of Simchat Torah when the barbaric Hamas launched its horrendous, atrocious assault, massacring, slaughtering, barbarically, inhumanely, so many people around the towns and villages of southern Israel. These are difficult times. These are difficult times reminiscent of some of the darkest times in human history, reminiscent of the Shoah, of the Holocaust, reminiscent of the Kishinev pogrom. And in the Kishinev pogrom of 1903, then under the Russian Empire, 50 Jews, around 50 Jews were murdered. Hundreds were injured. Hundreds of businesses were looted. And yet, it sent shockwaves all through Jewish communities. It propelled the rise of the Zionist movement. And it was in light of the Kishinev pogrom that you had Israel's national poet, Chaim Nachman Bialik, who wrote a poem called On the Slaughter. I was reminded by this poem as I was thinking of our reality. And let me just quote a few lines. Mercy, O heavens, beg mercy for me. If a God be in you, with a way in you, a way that I never knew, pray unto him for me. My own heart is dead, prayer drained from my tongue. The hands lie limp and hope undone. How long, until when, how long? If justice there be, let it now shine forth. But if it wait till I'm killed from under the sky to shine, let justice die, and its throne be thrown to the earth, and heaven wrought with eternal wrong. Ye wicked go forth in this your brute force, and live in your blood a cleansed throng. And cursed be he that shall say, avenge this, such vengeance for blood of babe and maiden hath yet to be wrought by Satan. These are tough words, and with the sights that people are seeing on the ground in Israel, these words exactly are the ones that come to mind. But this is not only the time to grieve and to weep. It's also a time of great action. It's time when each and every one of us should think, what can we do for our brothers and sisters in Israel and around here, for members of the Jewish community? For this is a horrible trauma for us all to see the lines at the airport of the young Israelis who are eager to go back home and join the front line to defend their nation is one of the most encouraging visuals one can ever imagine, especially under this time. Because if there is one thing that we know how to do as a people is come together, join forces in hope, in understanding that we will overcome. You know, President Biden mentioned um, in his speech that he heard from Golda Meir, which is one of her most famous of statements. We will win this, she said, in the wake of the Yom Kippur War, because we simply have no other choice. And we indeed have no other choice. Yesterday, I read an incredible column written by a good friend of mine, Professor Yuval Elbashan from the Ono Academic College in Israel. He's the dean. And I want to quote a few lines for you because these lines made me stronger and I hope they make all of you stronger. We will always have our home, my Be'eri. The enemies before us are mistaken, gravely mistaken. Perhaps they believe that if they ruthlessly pluck the most beautiful flowers from the earth, we will wither like desolate weeds in the desert. They forget that we have been rooting ourselves in this tough soil for 3,295 years. Even a million drops of spilled blood from innocence, the abhorrent killings the terrorists boast about to the world, will not erase those roots. Wherever in Israel blood was shed, the next generation came forth and multiplied from Yad Mordechai to Kfar Sol, from the Negev to Gush Etzion. Now they will learn it the hard way, just like their predecessors. The enemies before us are mistaken, gravely mistaken. They forgot what Yehuda Michai said long ago. The Jews are not a historical people. 
They're not even an archaeological people. The Jews are a geological people with rifts and collapses and strata and fiery lava. Their history must be measured on a different scale, a different scale that they will never comprehend. The enemies before us are mistaken, gravely mistaken. They hear us wail as we dig the graves of our heroes, but they do not understand that right after we bury our dead, we will use those same shovels to dig trenches around fresh seedlings planted in their memory in the places they defended with courage and sacrifice. So hold on to hope, my friends. Look around you and see how you can help and be part of the effort. Speak up for Israel wherever you are. Participate on the social media discussion. Enlighten the world with the wisdom of truth, with the courage of our brothers and sisters in Israel. Be part of the positive effort to strengthen the state of Israel at this time. Join whichever members of the Jewish community, organizations who support soldiers and communities on the ground, for this is the time to come together as a people. We here, will continue to do our work at JBS and beyond, myself, all of my friends and colleagues who are part of this incredible effort and proud to call ourselves a family. All of us, one big family. Am Israel Chai. Don't ever forget, Am Israel Chai.